Hi everybody. In this video, we shall discuss how to do F of T using DIF algorithm, decimation in frequency algorithm. In our previous video, we discussed about F of T using DIT, radix to DIT. Uh, with the same example, we shall discuss DIF algorithm also in this video. Before entering into the video, kindly subscribe our channel, Knowledge Academy. Now let us enter into the video. <clears throat> so the example is same. The sample points are same. X of n is equal to 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, as we discussed in DAT algorithm. So it will be very easy to compare uh, the difference between the similarities between DAT and DAF. So here also we are going to use the twiddle factors W and power K. And uh, we know the uh, expansion of uh, each of the twiddle factors. And uh, this butterfly diagram is of very important. For DAF, it is uh, somewhat different from uh, the butterfly diagram of DIT. So in DIF algorithm, the butterfly diagram A is here, B is here. Then in the upper branch, we have the sum of A and B. In the lower branch, we have the difference of A and B and the entire thing is multiplied with the twiddle factor W n power k. Whereas in DIT, we had a different kind of butterfly diagram in which B is multiplied with the multi uh, twiddle factor and in the upper branch, the multiplied B is added with A. In the lower branch, the multiplied B is subtracted from A in DIT algorithm. Whereas in DIF, in the upper branch, we have got the sum of A and B and in the lower branch, we have got the difference between A and B and the entire thing should be multiplied with the twiddle factor W and for K. Now, in this slide, this is the expansion for uh, W n power k, the twiddle factor. W n is e power minus j 2 pi by n. W n power k is e power minus j 2 pi k by n. And uh, here, uh, since n is 8, k can have 4 values starting from 0 to 3. So we have the total factor W8 power 0, W8 power 1, W8 power 2, W8 power 3. Right? W8 power is W8 power 0 is 1. W8 power 1 is 0 0.707 minus J into 0 0.707. W8 power 2 is minus J w8 power 3 is minus 0 0.707 minus j into 0 0.707 so so with this we can have all the values of the twiddle factor now let us proceed to the problem to compare dit and daf in dit we arrange the sequence in bit reversal order. Whereas in DAF, we are not doing any bit reversal arrangement. We are writing them as they are given in the question. 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. So there is no change in the sequence. Right? And here, to identify the A and B of butterfly diagrams, here since 8 samples are there, in each stage we will be having 4 butterflies. When we divide these samples, sample points exactly into two halves. The upper half becomes A and the lower half becomes B. So the butterfly should be drawn between first A and first B, second A and second B, between third A and third B, between fourth A and fourth B. Right? So first butterfly should be drawn between first A and first B. So this is the, these are the lines linking, linking the first A and first B. So this is the first butterfly. So this is sum of A and B. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And in the lower branch, the difference between A and B, 2 minus 1 is 1. So like that we have to do for all the butterflies. In the second butterfly also, so this is the second butterfly and this is second A, this is second B 
and uh, this upper branch of the butterfly we got from adding a and b 2 plus 1 is 3 and the lower branch of this butterfly we got by subtracting by doing a minus b that is 2 minus 1 is 1 similarly we have to do for all the butterflies so we are getting as the values as 3 3 3 3 here in the upper half and in the lower half we are getting 1 1 1 1 right and in the next stage before proceeding into the next stage here we have to multiply a minus b that we did with the trivial factors so this is first a minus b this is second a minus b this is third a minus b this is fourth a minus b so there are four a minus b's and four a minus b's these a minus b's should be multiplied by their respective trivial factors for the first a minus b this one the, the trivial factor is w8 power 0 that is equal to 1 and when we multiply these two things the answer is 1 we are taking 1 here to the next stage right this is second a minus b which is 1 and uh, the corresponding trivial factor for this one is w8 power 1 that is equal to 0 0.707 minus j into 0 0.707 we are multiplying both these things and we are taking the value to the next stage this is third a minus b the respective butterfly or oh sorry total factor is w8 power 2 that is equal to minus j and a minus b1 it is multiplied with total factor w8 power 2 minus j and the result minus j is taken here similarly for the fourth butterfly this is a minus b multiplied with the total factor w8 power 3 that is equal to minus 0 0.707 minus j into 0 0.707 and the result is taken here this is the second stage and this is a plus b first a plus b these are a plus b's and there is no change in them we are directly taking all these a plus b's to the next stage all right now in the next stage again we have to identify the butterflies right now in the in stage two this is stage two in this stage we have to divide this is upper half this is lower half we have to divide the upper half exactly into two equal parts and uh, the upper part of the upper half becomes a and the lower part of lower half becomes uh, sorry upper half becomes b similarly the same thing is happening in lower half also we are dividing this lower half exactly into two parts the upper half of the upper part of the lower half becomes a the lower part of the lower half becomes b in this stage right so what happens this is first butterfly this is second butterfly this is third butterfly this is fourth butterfly right now let us take the first butterfly this is first butterfly this is a this is b and this is a plus b that is 3 plus 3 is 6 this is a minus b that is 3 minus 3 is 0 similarly this is second butterfly this is a this is b this is a plus b that is 3 plus 3 is 6 a minus b 3 minus 3 equal to 0 right similarly for the third butterfly this is third butterfly this is a this is b this is a plus b that is one plus of minus j that is equal to one minus j and this one a minus b that is one minus of minus j that is equal to one plus j now this is fourth butterfly fourth butterfly 
this is A, this is B, and this one is A plus B, that is 0 0.707 minus J into 0 0.707 minus, sorry, plus of minus 0 0.707 minus J into 0 0.707. So the opposite signs are getting cancelled, and we have got only the imaginary terms minus 1.414 J. And in the lower part, when we do subtraction, the imaginary part get cancelled and uh, we, we, we are having only the real part, the sum of real parts are 0 0.707 minus of minus 0 0.707, that is 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707, that is 1.414. This is for the third butterfly. Now, for the, sorry, this is for the fourth butterfly. So with this, Uh, we have solved the butterflies in stage 2 also. Now, wherever we have done A minus B, we have to multiply them with the twiddle factor. And in this stage, in this stage, we are using two twiddle factors. One is W8 power 0, another one is W8 power 2. W8 power 0 is 1, W8 power 2 is minus J, right? So this is one A minus B, it should be multiplied with the twiddle factor W8 power 0 equal to 1, 0 into anything is 0. We are taking it to the next stage. Similarly, this is one A minus B, it should be multiplied by the corresponding twiddle factor that is W8 power 2 equal to minus J, 0 into anything is 0. So we are taking that to the next stage, that value 0 to the next stage. Similarly. This is 1 A minus B, it should be multiplied by W8 power 0 equal to 1 and the value is 1 plus J. This is A minus B, it should be multiplied with the total factor W8 power 2 that is equal to minus J and the result is minus 1.414 J. Right? And where, wherever we did A plus B in the previous stage without any change we are taking those values to the next stage. So this is one A plus B that is taken here to the next stage without any change. This is one A plus B taken. Similarly, this is one A plus B taken to the next stage. This is another A plus B taken to the next stage. We have brought A plus B to the next stages without any change. But to A minus B, we have multiplied with the trivial factor and then we have taken them to the next stage. Now, in the last stage, again, we are having four butterflies, right? So here, A and B are immediately present in this stage, in this last stage. So it is just a reverse uh, thing that is that was happened in DAT. In DAT, uh, we had this kind of butterfly in stage two, whereas here, we are having them in stage one. So this is A and this is B for this butterfly. So this is A plus B. That is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. This is A minus B. That is 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 for the first butterfly. Second butterfly, this is A, this is B, this is A plus B, 0, A minus B, 0. Right? Similarly, for the third butterfly, this is A, this is B, this is A plus B, 1 minus J plus of minus 1.414J. So that is equal to 1 minus 2.414J. This is A minus B, that is 1 minus J minus of minus 1.414J. So the answer is 1 plus 0.414J. Right? Similarly, for the last butterfly, we are doing the same thing. This is A and this is B. This is A plus B. This is A minus B. Now, Wherever we got A minus B, we have to multiply them with the twiddle factor. Here, the only twiddle factor we are utilizing is, we are using here is W8 power 0 that is equal to 1 in this stage 3. So here we are using W8 power 0 equal to 1. We are multiplying this A minus B and we are taking, we are writing the answer here. Similarly, for all A minus Bs, this is one A minus B, this is one A minus B, this is one A minus B. All these A minus Bs are multiplied by the total factors W8 power 0 equal to 1 
and the answers are written here right and we have got the answers as 12 we have got the result as 12 0 0 0 1 minus 2.414 j 1 plus 0 0.414 j 1 minus 0 0.414 j 1 plus 2.414 j and uh, we are writing their position values as 0th position, 1st position, 2nd position, 3rd position, 4th position, 5th position, 6th position and 7th position. So to these answers, we have to apply bit reversal order. So 0th position, when we convert that 0 value, number 0 into binary, we will be having the digits as 0, 0, 0 when we write it in 3 digits because the maximum possible uh, value when we convert this number into binary is three digit because the maximum value here is seven when seven is converted into binary when this seven is converted into binary the value is one 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 so the maximum value is one and uh, the maximum number of possible digits is three here so so this zero when we convert it into binary we are writing it as zero 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 when we convert this one into binary we are writing it as zero zero one whereas when we write in reverse order it becomes one zero zero and the decimal equivalent of that 100 is, is 4. So this number should come in 4th position. This number should come in 4th position. Right. All right. And this is position value is number 2. The binary equivalent of number 2 is 010. The bit reversal is also 010. So automatically this number comes when we uh, in second position right and this is number three position value is third position number three when we convert number three into binary the answer is zero one one when we do bit reversal for that zero one one the answer is one one zero when we take a uh, decimal equivalent of one one zero uh, the result is six so this number should come in sixth position this one should come in sixth position Right. So like that we are doing for all the other numbers we are writing the numbers in bit reversal order. To know more about bit reversal order kindly watch my video uh, in uh, decimation in time using uh, sorry f to using decimation in time and in that video more clear explanation regarding the bit reversal order is given and to know that in Tamil language also we have the video in knowledge academy. Right. So after writing these numbers in bit reversal order we are writing the number, we are writing the answer 12 1 minus 2.414 j 0 1 minus 0 0.414 j 0 1 plus 0 0.414 j 0 1 plus 2.414 j So this is same as that of the result that we got for DAT algorithm The answers are same Hence DAT and DAF they work together They both are producing the same result with same number of uh, steps and the fast Fourier transform is converging towards the answer very quickly than discrete Fourier transform using this uh, butterfly diagram. So this is the comparison. This is, this is These are the similarities and uh, uh, differences between DAT and DAF. I hope this video will be benefit you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like our video, kindly comment, like, share and uh, subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video once again. Bye.